This crop could soon be on dinner plates in European capitals and as far away as China. Now farmed in beautiful Drumcliff Bay in County Sligo, oysters have been grown on the beach below Lissadell House for more than 150 years. And for nearly 30 years, friends and University College Galway graduates, who make up the Northwest Clam Marketing Group, have been growing oysters in the bay. Like other areas of farming, it all starts with feed. Probably the most uh, important feature of the whole process in the hatchery is the production of the food. There isn't any foods that can be purchased off the shelf to feed um, uh, shellfish. They only feed on live algae. There are actually three different species of algae. Two of them are specifically for the larval stages because they're single-celled algae. Kevin takes cultures of these algae, the phytoplankton or the plant part of the plankton in the sea, and makes up the feed for the larval stages and the spots or young oysters. At the finish we're actually pumping water in and blooming up some of the natural algae that's in the seawater. Because we concentrate mainly on the on the species of clam and species of oysters that are they're not indigenous species, they're species that came from the Pacific. And as such, they require higher temperatures for the, um, the early breeding stages. So we must pump in water, uh, filter that water and heat it up to maybe 23, 26 degrees centigrade. Energy costs have risen substantially over the years. So the fact that we work together as a cooperative has made it, has been very important in our success to date. It, there was a, a cert, the, large element of science in the, in the early stages, but um, a lot of it is, is hard work and dedication. The routine of farming oysters is quite like other types of farming. It's seven days a week with no day the same. Well basically you know, what I'm doing is we're grading small oysters. They're about between five and about 12 grams. Initially they were at about a thousand per bag. When I put these back in the bags again, it'll be about 300. And I give them one final grade in, in March, April of next year, and put them in at a final density of about 150 per bag. Initially, we take them from the hatchery at about a millimetre and a half in size, and we grade them every month until they reach about, say, a gram. And after that, literally, maybe about four more grades before they reach market size, which is about 60 grams on, 75 grams usually, you know. Between taking care of local deliveries and doing his share of shaking the bags at low tide, Charlie Kelly runs the business end of things for the group. A lot of them end up in France. France is the biggest market in Europe. But increasingly, um, the Chinese market is becoming very important and a lot of Irish oysters are actually being sent to the Hong Kong market and uh, Shanghai and the big cities in China where there's a, a, a developing um, middle class who are very interested in oysters coming from nice clean waters like Drumcliff Bay here. You can't just go into a bay and start up, you have to have the appropriate licenses to start an operation. So we're lucky enough here, this is actually a very, uh, a very ancient uh, oyster growing area. Um, the the Gorboos in Lizardell Estate uh, first started to grow oysters here back as early as the 18, 1860s. About a mile away from the beach at Davis's in Drumcliff, the Yates Tavern sells about 30 kilograms of oysters a week. Charlie would be with us every second or third day and he brings us uh, uh, mussels and we've got cockles now and we've got the oysters off from the cell. We'll have a look at one of these oysters, make sure that yeah. you're, you're happy with them. They're pretty good, Damien. Yeah. We've been selling them for, for, I'd say, 15 years, and I believe it are actually not like we'd sell them all time summer, like winter, even actually like when there's no tourists around. It's served just uh, totally like plain, just open like six, a uh, piece of lemon, and that's how people eat them every day. Really good, sir. 
Oh, they're nice. Employing four full-time staff and 15 during the busy growing season, the group now produces 100 tons of oysters a year. It hopes to double production over the next five years. I will